Hey folks, Antar1011 here, and I'm back with a new Pokebox 5 black and white battle. Uh, my opponent today is the infamous Magnitude. Uh, if you don't know who he is and you haven't checked out his channel, you absolutely should and you should totally subscribe him. He's one of the best um, battlers on YouTube, in my opinion. Partially because he doesn't just use the same, um, you know, overuse of the overuse that everyone else uses. Uh, he actually used a pretty interesting team this time around. Um, and so I'm using my uh, Sam team uh, against him, and uh, I just really didn't know what to expect. I actually hadn't seen his channel before, which is actually kind of, you know, sad. But again, he's an amazing battler, you should totally go check him out. So he leads off with a Ferrothorn, which isn't very original, but whatevs. Um, I lead off with my El Kabong. My Sleep Powder misses this, this, the second battle in a row where my Sleep Powder has missed, and I just... And that was annoying. But anyway, um, he sets up his rocks, I go ahead and set up... Um, Toxic Spikes. He hits me with a critical uh, Gyro Ball, um, which I was like, I cannot believe that it took me down to my sash, but it was a critical hit. Um, and so I go ahead and use Hidden Power Fire. I've done the calcs, it's not going to one hit KO. <laughs> Excuse me, unless it's a crit. So I was expecting that, and now I'm dead. But I've at least done some serious damage to his tentacles. Um, yeah. Ferrothorn. I, I really have no. Ferrothorn is number one in usage no matter where you look. Um, and I don't really consider it, like, over that bad, because it's easily counterable with fire and fighting moves, both of which are extremely common. Anyway, he predicts my heat wave here and sends in his, um, Landalos. Um, I was hoping for the burn hacks, I was thinking he might do something like this, but it is what it is. I'm predicting the stone edge here, um, or at least something that I'm not gonna like. So I go ahead and send in Ringo, my Jellicent. Uh, he goes ahead and u turns predicting my switch, so, so far he is outplaying me at every turn. Um, so that is not good for me. And he goes ahead and sends out his tentacles. So I, th I figure he must have, um, Power Whip, which would possibly one-hit KO my Ringo, depending, my, uh, Jealous, depending on, um, his in investments. Um, so I go, I go ahead and predict the power switch and switch into Pazuzu. Um, <clears throat> instead he goes ahead and uses Leech Seed, uh, I guess pretty to my switch, and, um, so he's gonna be able to gain back so much health, and so I'm gonna have to switch out, uh, well, I guess I could try to take it out, but um, I'm predicting that he's going to switch at this point anyway. Uh, so yeah, I go ahead and call back my Pazuzu, predicting um, him to switch uh, into his Landalos, actually. Instead, he stays in um, and goes for the Gyro Ball, which would have been... He was predicting my switch there because it would have been uh, resisted again with my uh, Zapdos. So he breaks my Air Balloon, which is uh, a little bit sad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Earthquake, just stay in, see how much damage it'll do. Doesn't do anything at all, and he's gonna go ahead and get up around the Leech Seed. So that is not good for me, not good at all. Um, yeah, so, uh, I still haven't, so I've seen him use, uh, Leech Seed, Gyro Ball, and, uh, Stealth Rock, um, and so I'm really thinking the fourth move is Power Whip. Um, so I go ahead and send my Pazuzu in, and I'm down to z such low HP uh, because of all the Stealth Rock damage that's accumulating. Um, I really should try to get a Roost up, but unfortunately uh, he switched on the same permanent turn as me. He goes ahead and uses Stone Edge, he's faster, and takes me out. So uh, Zapdos is down, and that is sad. So I go ahead and send in Ringo at this point, um, and I'm going to go ahead and predict to switch uh, into... Uh, I would go ahead and predict to switch. Um, and go ahead and go for the recover. Uh, his Ranunculus gets poisoned, but it's a Ranunculus. It has Magic Guard, so that poison isn't going to do anything. I'm going to go ahead and taunt this guy, um, simply because, you know, I don't want a Calm Minding on me. Turns out it wasn't a Calm Mind set, it was a dual screen set, and he had no attack, so that's awesome for me. He goes ahead and sends out a Dredagon, um, and so I just decide to go safe with the Surf. Doesn't do very much. Um, but he's taking some to uh, some toxic damage, or not toxic damage, some poison damage because I only got one round of spikes up. He must he predicted my switch there. That was not a misclick, but I just decided to stay and use Ice Beam. So I'm going to be able to kill this guy quite easily, um, except for that he's going to go ahead and switch out and switches into his Politoed. Um, and of course it's a Drizzle Toad. I mean, why would you use a Politoed that's not a Drizzle Toad um, in an OU metagame? Um, but that's actually going to help me because... Uh, you know, okay, Surf didn't really do much there, but it did more than nothing. And, um, yeah, he goes, uh, I go ahead and taunt him, not knowing what he's gonna do. Um, yeah, he used hypnosis, so that, that was an amazing play on my end. Um, I go ahead and, uh, I, the recover was a misclick. It wasn't actually a misclick. I forgot that I was faster. Yeah, Ringo is actually surprisingly fast. Um, I guess it's base 70 speed. Um, 
think. But I've also done some investments. So he goes ahead and uses Hydro Pump. And I see this and I'm like, whoa, that did a whole lot of damage. What the heck? And then, oh, okay, it was a crit. Okay, that's all right then. Um, as long as he doesn't get two crits in a row, I should be okay. Um, and the toxic damage is where is um, wearing off. I go ahead and use another taunt, not wanting to be put to sleep or anything. He goes ahead and Hydro Pumps me. So again, as long as this isn't a crit, I should be okay. Um, and indeed, I survive with 119 HP, up to 142 after the um, uh, the leftovers recovery. I go ahead and go for recover here, because on this next turn, Politoad is going to die from poison. So, uh, yeah, he goes ahead and goes for the Hydro Pump, um, but again, not really doing much to my Jellicent. Um, <clears throat> yeah, get a little bit of recovery action there, doo -doo -doo. and bye-bye Politoad. Bye-bye now! Um, yeah, so, he, I, you know, he, he says in his commentary, you should, by the way, check out his version of this battle, uh, it's amazing. So he goes ahead and sets his Dreadagon again and uses Outrage, um, and I get Cursed Body, which I don't think really mattered. Um, I'm not actually sure whether he would have been struggling or what the next turn, but Poison's gonna take him out anyway. But it's kind of amazing how I survived that hit, and, uh, if you watch his battle and listen to his commentary, he's like, oh my god, he couldn't believe it. So, uh... Yeah, I just completely ruined his day with my Jellicent. He just spends half the battle bitching about my Jellicent. Um, you know, Jellicent is kind of an awful, awfully uh, overpowered Pokemon, but more so than Latios or, you know, Ferrothorn. Well, again, there are lots of counters for Ferrothorn. And, you know, a good um, electric type or grass type move will decimate Ringo. Um, so, yeah, I go ahead and taunt here, predicting that he's not going to go for the. Um, the power, uh, power Whip. In fact, at this point, now that he uses Gyro Ball, I'm kind of thinking that he doesn't have the Power Whip, but I'm like, seriously? If he doesn't have the Power Whip, I'm kind of set for life here, because he can't do anything to me. Um, yeah, so he goes ahead and uh, switches out, and I'm going to go ahead and predict that, and go ahead and go for the Surf. And so I'm now taking down his Earth Gin, um, and his uh, Landalos, and who's probably his primary sweeper, so that's really, really awesome for me. I mean, that's just... Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, the rain is helping me because the rain's still up. So he goes ahead and sends his, in his, in his NBZ, um, named after Emperor NBZ, um, I'm sure. And I go ahead and surf it, um, and I'm like, wow, that's doing so much damage. I was expecting that this would be the end of my sweep, but I got a crit. So I'm really sorry about that crit. I'm not sure that it would have changed the outcome of the battle too much, but maybe it would have. So now he sends in his Reunculus. Um, I go ahead and go for the Surf. I maybe should have gone for the Taunt, um, but I didn't realize um, until I saw his battle uh, that he didn't have any attacking moves on it. So Taunt would have been the better move there. So now I get Poison, uh, or actually Toxic. So Ringo's uh, turns are numbered. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Surf again. Yeah, I got a trail in that last turn. Uh, and so because I'm, I'm, and now he sets up a light screen, and um, you know I'm just glad that I've gotten him down to such low HP, so he can't recover off the damage because then he could outstall me easily. Um, yeah, so my taunt wears. Oh, that's why I didn't taunt him because I was taunted myself. Okay, never mind, that wasn't a misplay on my part. <laughs> okay, so I take down his Reunculus, and he's going to be down to I think um, his last Pokemon. I think his last Pokemon is Ferrothorn. Um, yeah, and so that, this is going to be the end of the battle. I'm going to go ahead and taunt him, and there's really nothing he can do against me. Um, yeah, he tries to use Leech Seed. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, use Surf, I think. Um, I think Ice Beam might do more? No, well, not in the rain. I used Ice Beam. That was actually a bad move. In the rain, um, uh, Surf would have been the better move, I think. I'd have to do the math, but I'm pretty sure Surf is a better move in that case. Anyway, um, he's just going to keep, keep on gyroballing me, and I'm just leaving Ringo in for fodder. Uh, and so yeah, the poison kills me, and now I've got uh, a bunch of Pokemon to choose from for who do I take this out. And I go ahead and send in Leela, um, and this is a mistake. I should have used uh, Flare Blitz, because even in the rain, Stab and uh, stab means that... Uh, and 4x uh, effectiveness would have mean, meant that it would have done more damage. But it didn't matter anyway. I took down his naughty tentacles and win the battle. So, great, 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 great game, Magnitude. Uh, I cannot wait for our rematch where you will probably wipe the floor with me. But anyway, uh, people who are watching this, Pokebox 5 folks, I really hope you enjoyed that. That's probably one of the best battles I've ever had, and I'm uploading it to this channel and not my own. So feel grateful. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.